Hi friends. Final accounts contains so many adjustments like outstanding expenses, prepaid expenses, income to be received adjustment, income received in advance adjustment, depreciation related adjustment, bad debts adjustment, provision for bad debts adjustment, interest on capital adjustment, interest on drawings, etc. Out of all these adjustments, bad debt adjustments and the provision for bad debts adjustments. These two are very very important. So regarding bad debts, now I am making this video. And about provision for bad debts, I made another video. Please watch that video also. What is meant by bad debts? With one example I will explain. Assume that a firm sold goods to Madhu. Sales value is 10,000 rupees. And after taking the goods, Madhu paid cash to us. Means, the sale is called cash sale. In, ca in case of cash sale, there is no bad debt topic. Take another example. Firm sold goods to Raghu for 2000 rupees and Raghu requested to allow him credit. Since we don't want to lose the customer, we allowed credit facility to him. Then Raghu is known as debtor and this sale is called credit sale. Raghu is a debtor for 2000 rupees. Debtor appears as an asset in balance sheet. Assume that Raghu became insolvent. Insolvent means what? He is unable to repay the loan money to us. Then this 2000 is not going to come and this loss is called bad debts. So, we gave debt to Raghu and this debt became bad. So, it is called bad debts. Bad debt is a loss to firm. Then, bad debt means what? When we sell goods on credit basis and if that amount is irrecoverable from customer, that loss is called bad debts. In case of bad debts, Different models will be given in the final accounts. First case is sometimes bad debts will be given only in the adjustments, sometimes only in the trial balance, sometimes in trial balance and in adjustments. Now with examples I am going to explain in each case how to show the bad debts in final accounts. See the first example. In trial balance, bad debts are given as 1000 rupees. What is the meaning of this? In, if any amount is written in trial balance, then remember one point. Regarding that, ent that amount, already entry is completed. Means what? This 1000 rupee is already deducted from debtors. And after deducting bad debts, the remaining debtor value is 10,000 rupees. Means this 10,000 debtor is net value. Good debtors. We are going to get 10,000 rupees from debtors. Then while preparing PL account, this bad debt should be debited. Why? Because PL account is a nominal account. What is nominal account principle? Debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Since a bad debt is a loss, it should be debited to PL account. And in balance sheet, we can write debtors 10,000 directly in outer column. We need not to deduct bad debts 1,000 from debtors because debt, bad debt is already given in the trial balance. Means what? It is already deducted from the debtors. Now again we should not deduct it. So remember this point. When bad debts are given only in the trial balance, 
we should show that in debit side of profit and loss account. We should not deduct that from debtors. Take another example. In this example, bad debts are given in the adjustments. What is the meaning of that? While preparing ba trial balance, we didn't notice bad debts. After preparing the trial balance and before preparing the final accounts, firm came to know that there is a bad debt loss of 1000 rupees. So this 1000 is not a deducted from debtors. So debtor value is gross value only. Then in profit and loss account, since a bad debt is a loss, it should be debited. And since bad debt amount is given in the adjustments, since it is not at a deducted from debtors in balance, balance sheet from 10,000 rupees debtors, we should deduct bad debts. Now the net debtor is 9,000 rupees. Good debtor is not 10,000, 9,000 only. So remember, when bad debts are given only in the adjustments, two times we should write that. One time in PNL account we should debit it and second time in balance sheet from debtors we have to deduct that. Then example number 3. Here in trial balance bad debts are given 1000 rupees and in adjustments further bad debts are also given 500 rupees. What is the meaning of this? Before preparing trial balance, firm recorded 1000 rupees as bad debts in the books. Means from debtors already 1000 is deducted. But after preparing trial balance and before preparing bal final accounts, firm came to know that more 500 is not going to come from the debtors. So this 500 is not at deducted from debtors because it is given in the adjustments. Then in profit and loss account, now the total bad debt loss is 1500. In that already we recorded 1000 rupees, more 500 we should record now. So total becomes 1500 rupees. Add both and show in debit side. And in balance sheet, since the adjustment amount is not deducted, not at deducted from debtors, we should deduct now. So take debtor value as 10,000 rupees and deduct only adjustment amount 500 rupees. So remember, if bad debts are given in the trial balance and in adjustments, then in PNL account debit side, both we should show and in balance sheet from debtors only adjustment amount we should deduct. I think it is clear to you. Thank you very much.